This entire wall here is female pie balls. Oh my gosh, take a look at this big male, bale chameleon. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Today is a pretty special thing, at least for me, because we're able to tour a facility that you typically don't see. Now bear with me for a few minutes as I explain this, and then we'll get into some really cool animals and stuff like that. So basically you have three really large production house when it comes to supplying the pet trade, and that would be Reptiles by Mac, The Gourmet Rodent, and Reptile Industries. These are facilities that literally produce tens of thousands of pet reptiles that go out to all not only the chain stores, but also the mom and pop shops, and even to some retail detail type of stuff. Regardless, it's very rare to see the inner workings of these companies. Typically, they just don't want people in. Thankfully, today I was heading down to Reptiles by Mac to pick up my two-headed snake, and he said that he would let me film. So we're going to go ahead and take a tour of his place and kind of give you an idea of what it's like to be in a facility that literally has tens of thousands of animals. So again, for me, it's a big treat. I've known John and Amy from Reptiles by Mac for over 25 years, so I really appreciate they open up their place and trust me to show you guys. So what do you say we just jump right into it? So I made it down to John Mack at Reptiles by Mack. And just to give you an idea, those of you that have been following me for all these years, I used to have a really big place that was pretty much about the size of this building. So this is a brand new building, just in addition to what he already had. And this is going to be a bunch of leopard geckos and chameleons and crested geckos and all kinds of stuff like that. So you can imagine a space like this going to be filled. And again, this is just in addition to what he already has. You've got racks over here. Look at these tubs. You guys got to Take a look at this. Look at these tubs for those of you guys that have maybe a rack of snakes or something like that. Just think of this. This is just extra tubs. You know, these aren't even in use yet. So uh, we're gonna have a great time looking around and seeing what the heck is going on down here at Reptiles by Matt. And another big building that's just gonna be actually for like the dry goods stuff that they use. You know, bedding, obviously shipping boxes, tubs, uh, all kinds of different stuff. I mean, most people would love a building like this for anything. And this is just for uh, the extra stuff that they have around. Uh, I love it. I tell you what, I come into places like this and I just get giddy because I love the feel of it. And I look at all the opportunity. I'm like, oh my God, this is so cool. Look at the Timothy hay. Oh my gosh, my tortoises would love that. You know, there aren't a lot of things in life that I get blown away by when it comes to reptiles because I've been around. I've had huge collections. I've visited huge collections, but this room is absolutely incredible. Take a look at this. All of these aisles here, all the way down. Guess what's in here? That's right, ball pythons. I mean, just a bunch of absolutely gorgeous ball pythons. I mean, just as far as I can see. And I tell you, it's kept so well. I mean, every cage you open up is just completely clean. The animals are all really big and healthy looking. And take a look at these leucistic ball pythons. Just like tub after tub of them. One of the things that blew me away probably more than anything is, uh, is, is this wall here and the wall down here. I've got to show you guys. You guys are going to be blown away. Take a look at this. All the way from here, all the way here, all the way over here. And guess what's in here? Piebald. 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 <laughs> Piebald. This entire wall here is female pie balls. Just female piebald ball pythons. I mean, a lot of these are low white, but again, with pies, it doesn't matter if they're low white or high white. They all produce exactly the same. But literally, every single one of these is a female piebald ball python. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's crazy. So it gets better. Again, oh, there's uh, wait, this whole wall here is also piebalds. I didn't even see these earlier. Look at this one here. Oh, doggy. That thing is absolutely incredible. But again, pied. Pie. Oh, that even looks like a pastel pie there. But again, so that's, uh, I don't know, that's got to be 60, 70 female pie balls. That is incredible. But this also kind of blew me away because guess what this whole rack is here? Guess it. Banana pie. Banana pie. Banana pie. Banana pie. That's right, this whole wall here is nothing but male banana pies. There's a couple females in there, but mainly male banana pies. So there's got to be like, I don't know, maybe 30 male banana pies and at least 60 or 70 female pies. Oh my God. And it just keeps going, guys. I mean, all of these snakes here are unbelievable. I mean, there's albino ball pythons, there's hats, there's pastels, there's lessers, there's, uh, look at this, this is, 
an albino pinstripe ball python. And again, you know, the care of these looks amazing. I mean, there's a lot. Look at all of these snakes in here. And they all look like they're being taken care of so well. I mean, they're clean, they're fat. They look absolutely incredible. And listen, as I'm going through, I'm just smoked. I mean, again, aisle after aisle of snakes. Look at this honeybee right here. That is one huge honeybee. And that's one thing that is certainly the case. Every single jar I open looks like these animals are being fed like unbelievable. I mean, they're just perfect condition. I am blown away. This is, this is an impressive room. And of course, every good reptile building needs one of these. Oh my God, it's, it's like a dishwasher right here. You just stack them up like this. They come through how friggin' cold is this? Oh my gosh. I, look, Lori, why don't I have one of these? Why do we, why do we not have one don't of these? Don't act like you ever wash dishes anyways. So. I know, but I would wash dishes if I could do it like this. I would not, one time. One, well, yeah, the first time, exactly. but after that I wouldn't. But you guys are awesome. This is, this is so cool, man. I'm having a great day. It's awesome here. Guys, take a look. They even have these really cool bamboo rat snakes. These are actually porphyracea. They've got cocci, they've got pulchra, laticincta. I mean, I wasn't expecting to see this when I came here. This is unbelievable. Look at these things. Oh my gosh. And Lori, you're gonna let me buy some, right? We'll talk about it. No, 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 we're buying some. Yeah, we're gonna buy some. This is awesome. We'll talk about it. <laughs> now we're in a room that I absolutely love, of course. This is the Kluber room, and again, it's just like the other rooms, you've got aisles and aisles of them. But what John told me that's really interesting is that as they're growing stuff out, they do it kind of by size. So this would be the very start here. So this obviously is an amber corn snake here, and then as it gets bigger, it moves up to the next size and the next size. Those are over, just to kind of simplify the care and stuff like that. Again, you look at a really beautiful corn snake here you've got you know a Puebla milk snake so rather than putting them in groups of like what they are like pueblins corns kings whatever they put them in groups of like the sizes so this is the beginning size here and then as they get bigger they go up into a bigger tub like this of course that's a Puebla milk snake right there we've got a tangerine hypo honduran milk snake there mexican black king snake here and then they just continue to grow out grow out grow out and then ultimately they end up in these tubs here like this albino honduran or like the nelson's milk snake right here so it's a really great system where, you know, basically you're simplifying like, all right, we're going to feed hopper mice here, then we're going to feed, you know, weaned mice here, and then ultimately bigger and bigger and bigger. It kind of takes the guessing game. And when you have a big collection like this, that's what's really important is making sure that the animals are cared for the best that they possibly can. And once again, I mean, these animals look unbelievable. I'm just randomly opening up boxes. I mean, things look incredible. I mean, uh, oh my God, look at this animal right there. Of course, this is a motley corn snake. I mean, oh my God, this... Uh, I love colubrids. You guys know this. This place is awesome, and he has a lot of them. These are all Russian tortoises. Oh my gosh. And, uh, you know, they all look nice and peefy. I mean, look at how much food they are. They're clean. Oh my God, this is awesome. You guys know I love tortoises, and really the Russians are kind of the best pet trade, right? And you got to remember that they're really keeping stuff for the pet trade, you know, that entry level stuff that's going to go into the stores and ultimately be probably someone's first pet or at least entry level pet. So uh, these guys look absolutely incredible. And of course, you want them to be a little bit bigger. So, like a Salcata, number one, is going to be small and can't really go into a pet shop. Number two, you don't really want that many people buying sulcata because they're so cute as babies but they get really really big whereas these guys stay nice and small so uh, that's pretty it's pretty absolutely incredible I mean how crazy is that Again, the innovation is pretty amazing, which you have to remember when you're dealing on a big volume like we kind of sort of did. We were never this big. You have to be really innovative. In aisles like this where you can keep snakes really healthy, really clean, water's clean, feed them easily, that's what makes a successful or unsuccessful business. And you have to remember a company like this not only wants to supply animals to the pet trade, but they want to supply healthy animals to the pet trade because not only does the pet trade need to have good animals, but let's face it, if the customer buys something and it doesn't do well, they're not going to be a repeat customer. So uh, it's pretty cool to see this place. I've known John and Amy for years and years and years. So it's really cool to kind of see how far they've come. And uh, I mean, it's really impressive here. You know, the backbone of any company, especially an animal company, is the people that work for them. You've got to have great people. And I just met you and you said you just literally got your first snake yeah. bite. Just now. 
You gotta be kidding me. Ah, I'm crying. Oh my god. Well, it's so good. It is so good to meet you. Keep up the good work, seriously. Work hard. Take care of these animals, incredible. And uh, get lots more bites for me, okay? All right. All right. Come on. I think he needs to prelude the fact she was not that upset about the bite. It wasn't that big a deal. She was excited to meet Brian. So I, I, I was watching this thinking, you guys are gonna read like, she's like, oh my god. Oh yeah. I, no. I'm sorry. I was just in the moment, guys. Yeah, she, she, wasn't, she wasn't upset about a snake bite. How, it wasn't that bad, right? No, it felt <laughs> like a staple almost. Yeah. But like that's it. Just yeah, like if you stapled your arm or something, it's not like a big deal. And my prediction is going down this aisle, you're gonna get bit again. Oh my gosh, take a look at this Lichianus. Oh my gosh, are you in love or what? Oh my god, they're so cool. It's so big. I know I can't wait till <laughs> ours get this big. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is crazy. Oh my gosh. That oh is my awesome. gosh. I can't wait till Big Bertha is that big. I know. Look at this cute little face and those eyes. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. And then we have all the veil chameleons here. Take a look at that dude back there. I mean, these things are incredible. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. These are all so beautiful. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of chameleons there. Look at this. Oh my gosh, take a look at this big male veil chameleon. Oh my gosh, he is unbelievable. That is one beautiful animal right there. <laughs> oh, doggy. Oh my gosh. So there it is guys. I mean, it really is an extreme treat for me to be able to be in a place like that because again, the big three producers don't let people in because they just don't want to have exposure because they're kind of quietly just doing their wholesale thing and stuff like that. So for me, it was amazing and it was also amazing to see how well their stuff was taken care of. And like I mentioned, I knew Jam and Amy for 25 years so I knew their place was going to be good but seeing it by myself was really amazing and their future plans of those buildings that they're expanding out are going to be absolutely incredible let me know in the comments how you liked it what you thought of it all that other stuff again thank you guys as always for tuning in and watching you guys mean the world to me and I truly do love you guys so much can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video and like I mentioned make a comment down below because I love reading about your beautiful faces be kind to someone today and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow mm -hmm.